Welcome to the Hoover School Year 23-24. I'm really excited that you're joining us for the video bulletin for September 4th, the week of September 4th. It's going to be a great year. I'm really excited. We've got lots of thing, fun things planned for this school year. Are you excited for this school year? Yeah, I'm very excited for the school year. You know, last year, ready for high school. And more to come. Good morning, Hoover community. This is Dr. Costa in the main office recording the weekly bulletin, the first weekly bulletin uh, for 2023-24 school year. Uh, this is the week of September 5th. Thank you so much for joining me. We had a great first few days of school. Uh, students are showing up in uniform, uh, ready to learn. I've met lots of new students. Uh, sixth graders, web leaders are doing a fantastic job. Uh, Miss Kim and her team has got the campus ready for learning and our teachers and staff do as well. It's going to be a great year. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is the weekly bulletin. So a fairly busy week for a short week. Uh, looks like Wednesday during PE class, we're gonna have eighth grade expectations assembly. So each period for our eighth graders on Wednesday will uh, join me, uh, Mrs. Hong, Mrs. Ruezga, Mrs. Clough, and Mr. Brown in the auditorium to learn about rules and expectations for a successful school year. Uh, Wednesday, there is a special education department meeting in the library from three to four. Um, we have our sixth grade expectations assembly Thursday. Uh, also Thursday, we will have our seventh and eighth grade picture day. Uh, again, Thursday, seventh and eighth grade picture day. We have a faculty meeting Thursday. And then on Friday, we have a couple of things going on. Uh, during PE class, we'll have the seventh grade expectations assembly and, uh, and uh, our counselor has a meeting in her office with uh, some support staff around school attendance. And then it looks like we have um, an after school program auditions for Mary Poppins by an by the Act Out Theater Company. So if you're interested, I think our point of contact for that is Miss Pimony. Uh, if you're interested in acting. So very busy week. If you have any questions about things on our calendar this week, I know we have some sports tryouts coming up real soon. So we'll send some information out about that. Uh, football team tryouts and then also volleyball team tryouts. We have a very important committee on campus. It's called the School Site Council Committee. And we're looking for I believe two or three teacher members on school site council. So Mr. Brown is sending out some information for nominations, and then we need to do a ballot and vote. Uh, we are looking for one parent uh, to be on our school site council. That, uh, that parent will be joining another two parents who are already on the committee. So the committee has three parents uh, the committee also has three students as well. So we're looking for a minimum of one student because we have two students returning. Uh, so if you are interested in school site council, please reach out to Mr. Brown or myself or Mrs. Hong. We need a full committee. Uh, we make important decisions about the money we spend here at Hoover and the programs that we offer. So please let us know we need school site council member committees. Reminders, uh, last week and continuing this week in all of your classes, you should be working on community agreements. Uh, these are important expectations uh, established in each of your classrooms. Uh, we review what it looks like when students respect each other. 
Uh, we uh, look at and discuss what it looks like when teachers respect students and when students respect teachers. And we agree to uh, these commitments uh, so that we have a, a safe classroom environment. We have a high achieving classroom environment and really a classroom environment that takes care of business uh, to grow all of our students. Uh, uniforms, starting today, every student will be required to be in uniform. If you are not, uh, we will uh, let you borrow some of our loaner clothes. Uh, we'll get you changed out really quick and send you off to class. You should not be bringing uh, an extra pair of clothes to change out after you get through the gates. Uh, if we see you out of uniform, second period, third period, uh, near the end of the day, you will be required to change out and it's quite possible you may receive a detention. Tardies, we are having a tardy sweep going forward every passing period for the remainder of this year. If you are caught in a tardy sweep, that means if you are late to any of your classes, you will be immediately assigned either a lunch detention or an after school detention. Five minutes is plenty of time to get to all of your classes. It's plenty of time to get to the restroom really quickly and then get to your class on time. Uh, also know that our teachers are writing passes for you to use the restrooms. So there is no reason for you to be tardy. Uh, if you are going to be tardy for a teacher reason or a staff reason, they will write you a pass. But we need to be on time to all of our classes uh, all day long. Uh, we also are beginning to find out we have a problem with lunch deliveries. Uh, students are ordering from Grubhub and other food delivery services. Um, this is not permitted. This is absolutely not permitted. Uh, we don't have enough staff to answer phones, meet people at the front door and buzz in uh, 50 different food delivery services. Um, so please do not have your food, your lunch Grubhub delivered to the front office. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns about that, please let us know. But again, we are not calling and reaching out to students who have a um, Uber Eats, uh, your food being delivered to the office. Uh, we have Miss Asia in our wellness center right now, and she has set up Tranquil Tuesdays. Uh, sometimes it gets a little busy and a little noisy in the wellness center. Students doing activities and having a great time. And so in the wellness center on Tuesdays, it's going to be Tranquil Tuesdays. So it's going to be a much quieter environment uh, for students to decompress and relax and um, just feel at home in our wellness center where on other days it might be a little bit too chaotic. Um, so please, if you're interested in a really calm, quiet place on Tuesdays, we have Tranquil Tuesdays. Um, here in our wellness center. And our wellness center is uh, right next to the lunch area uh, by the girls' locker room. So please check it out. As always, we have some great video clips from all the wonderful things that are going on around campus. I wanna thank Miss, uh, Mrs. Clough uh, for gathering all these videos. If you see her around and you wanna be in a video, uh, please say hi to her and ask her if you can. Uh, we've got lots of videos about uniforms and we've got student shout outs and we've got teacher feature, which is one of my favorite parts of our video clip section at the end of the weekly bulletin. Uh, so I'm really happy that you're all here. We're a team, we're a family. We're gonna get our business taken care of and have a great year. We're gonna be respectful to one another. We're gonna show up to class on time and we're gonna communicate openly with each other. Uh, so this is gonna be a great year. Uh, stick around for the video clips. Uh, thank you web leaders for all that you've done and uh, Miss Garrido, our new web director here. Uh, what a great year we're gonna have. Please, please always remember. Scholars make dollars.
and a difference. Welcome back to Hoover. Let's make it a great year. What, what, what? What is your name and title? Hi, my name is Glenda Colbertson, Mrs. Colbertson, and I am your teacher librarian. Where are you from? I'm originally from the Philippines, and I immigrated here when I was seven years old, and I've been in California ever since. What is your favorite band or singer? Um, right now, my favorite band is Imagine Dragons. If it ever came on the radio, I would know the song and I could sing along. What are some of your hobbies? I love traveling and seeing new places, um, mostly here in the United States because it is expensive to go international, but I would love to see as many countries as possible. And I love eating. I love trying new foods, going to new restaurants, and even cooking at home and making those dishes at home so I can always have it. What advice do you have for Hoover students to be successful? My advice would be to try something new. Um, try some clubs, some sports, meet new people, make new friends, and keep the old. And just challenge yourself to, to take a risk and try something new. What is your name and title? Hi, I'm Sandra Reyes. I am Hoover's Spanish teacher. And where are you from? I'm from the San Fernando Valley, family backgrounds from Mexico. Who is your favorite band or singer? Band, Red Hot Chili Peppers. What are some of your hobbies? Hobbies, anything outdoor, running, hiking, all that stuff. What advice do you have for Hoover students to be successful? Don't give up. Always try your best and ask for help. Hi, attention sixth graders. We just wanted to welcome the sixth graders to Hoover and let you guys know that. We're having a Hoover welcoming dance on September 15th, so please be there. And if you guys want any more information, that will be coming closer to the date. So again, have a nice time and enjoy Hoover. I want to give a student shout out to Jacob Ramos. We love him. And yeah. We, we love you, Jacob Ramos. We love you. I want to give a student shout out to Bubba because he's faster than Kingston. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Rezga, your school counselor. Just wanted to remind everyone that we're not doing any schedule changes until the week of September 11th. You can either email your counselor, I'll have it on Canvas, or you can fill out a request for assistance form that'll be in this color pink in all of your classrooms, all your teachers should have them. So just fill that out, put what elective you'd like to switch to, I will consider it depending on what seat availability we have, and then we'll go from there. Um, so yeah, so not until the week of September 11th. Welcome Hoover student athletes. I uh, just want to give you a heads up next week. Uh, we are starting the first two sports at Hoover would be flag football and girls volleyball. And information's coming out uh, early next week about when tryouts will be for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Uh, come on out, don't be shy, and give it your best and try out. Talk to you later. Bye. Picture days on September 7th. Make sure to look your best. 7th and 8th graders and make up for 6. I want to give a student shout out to Moses because he's really cool. I get, I get a student shout out to Juan because he uh, he's my friend and we play together. I want to give a school shout out to Corey, Anaya, Sakara, Sunny, Lily, Zanaya, and Autumn. Yep.